welcome in our man Dave Aiken. Hey, hey now. Settle an argument for us, Dave. Surely you've had sex in a freezer. <laughs> Hot or not, discuss. I say it awakens the senses. These guys say it's too cold. It's too cold, even in a even in the back of a of a of a cold Buick, and it's forty degrees out. It's not even freezing. Too cold. So you know, yeah, freezer. A walk-in freezer is like zero, isn't it? Yes. And the guy emailed me a P one anonymous and said that uh, he and his girlfriend used to work at a grocery store and during their breaks they'd have sex in the freezer he didn't say walk-in cooler he said freezer yeah i don't know about that i pictured him up against the heads of cabbage or lettuce but then i reread and chris tim's right it's no it's, it's among the bens and the bens and the jerry's and, uh, but when you're young the red and, bear and the, the paul newman's yeah <laughs> <laughs> that paul newman staring at you yeah, he's looking right at you <laughs> <That> beautiful face <laughs> and the gorton fisherman mrs paul <laughs> <laughs> and the bird's eye bird <laughs> staring after <it> waking. <laughs> Just getting it. Nobody ever caught him. They said. Yeah. He, he said nobody ever caught. Him. They did it like constantly back there mm. in in the freezer. Here's another argument for you. And uh, we just got... It is his discharge didn't freeze, did it? <laughs> that's in you know, air, mind you. <laughs> well, if that's that, where it went. I had that thought, too. I mean, <laughs> zoop. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> Where's that shelf stalker? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that, Robert? I need a warm it's towel. Like, like Call of the Wild. Remember that? Uh, Robert Frost. Was it Robert Frost who wrote that Call of the Wild? And uh, Jack, Jack London. London. Jack London. And you spit and it would freeze in the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the same way. It's like the, the phantom seed. <laughs> It shoots 10 feet up, and oh my nobody knows God. where it, it went. Hangs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Until some 70-year-old guy walks in and looks up there and says, like, what the hell is that? I still think it excites the senses. I think it awakens you. Uh, parts of you had no idea. Then Chris Dim said, we were talking about nose rings, and Chris Dim said, do women sleep in their nose rings? And I didn't know. I don't know the answer. I don't. But Biggie dropped this on. Yeah, my girlfriend has one. She sleeps in it. Just... He's, Bam, it's two days in a row. That's he's right. just dropped this "my girlfriend" yeah, reference. Friday, did too. I'm seeing a young lady friend. That's he right. Says, yeah. He's like, he's quick to jump in on that. You'd and think I, if it was an, a stud in the nose, you could, but if it was a, mm -hmm. a hoop, then you may not want to. That's exactly my thought process. But Biggie says no. You get caught on the uh, on the pillowcase. Yeah, and the bed sheeting. My wife said to me over the weekend, "When were you going to tell me that Biggie has a young lady friend in his life?" And I said, "I just don't care." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> to, to be fair to you, Kelly, we just found we out. We just found out. We just found out. Yeah, I'm sure out. Uncle Dave knew, but you know, Dave. Uh, I know. You keep it quiet. And I She's already been over at the house. I figured. What she, do you think of her? He's on the phone. She knows the layout. No. <laughs> 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 Terrific. She found the bar. Uh, and, and this is uh, Biggie's child bride, right? <laughs> Ten years his junior, exactly. Which I, hey, I'm thrilled for the guy. She's sweet. She's a lamb. Wonderful. I can't wait to meet her. Will he bring oh, her around? No. no. <laughs> what about the, uh, isn't there a holiday party coming? Yes, I want you to bring her around. No. I want you to bring Jesus. her around for the no. holiday party. You all never make things better in any scenario. <laughs> what? So why would I ever? How could you say that? Why do you think I hit her for months? How this could you say This is hurtful. It? We're best friends. How can you not no. introduce her to your you best friend? You guys have friend. never in any way, shape, or form made my life better. I'm going to stop calling you fam. <laughs> That's right. Now he's keeping her in the bunker. How can I call you? Ava fam? Braun style. Exactly. How can I call can you? Can you ask Biggie what line of work she is, or is she still a student? <laughs> <laughs> if she has a job. Can you explain what field is she? You in? don't help her she's with her homework, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> That's just not right. No, she's she... got to write those college essays on her own, <laughs> as I've recently discovered. Yes, uh, she's a social worker, so she has a very important mm -hmm. job and is a very caring person. Biggie's a case study. Of opposite of us. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. she's studying Biggie. Your us. file came across yeah. her desk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that how you met during COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. yeah when, you got, when we got the pay cut, that's yeah. when. Uh, yeah, your file came across. Well, uh, a. A P1, uh, excuse me, no, I'm sorry, A an article here, and this is what we'll uh, maybe call Lisa Lanier about here in a few minutes. This woman is trying to sue a taxi cab company in London. Now, she's 26. The mother of two uh, gave birth last Tuesday in the back of, the ca of a cab, headed to the hospital for a checkup. She had a, a checkup scheduled. And then when she was in the cab, there was about a 20-minute drive to the hospital, and in the cab, she gave birth. The mm. uh, cabbie turned, was stunned to see it, pulled over. Oh, blimey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, dr the driver said, do you want me to pull over? And he did. And she said, no, I think you should go 
as fast as you can because I want to be in the hospital when the baby's born. But the baby, a healthy girl, was born, and the mother basically said she birthed the baby in the back seat of the cab herself on yeah. the way to the hospital. There's no companion with her? No, she was by herself. Her husband was out of town mm-hmm. and uh, came back in. Anyway, they got to the hospital. Doctors came out to the parking lot. Everything was rushed the baby inside, cleaned the baby, all the stuff you do. Baby was fine. It's a girl. She also has a 15-month-old son. And so everybody was okay. Everything was fine. Four days later, she got a cleaning bill in excess of 100 American dollars from the taxi cab company. And she said, I'm quoting now, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> Why would the taxi cab company charge me a cleaning fee when I had no intentions of giving birth in the cab and just happened to give birth in the cab? I'm ready to get a lawyer to see if I can escape. I'd save this your book. money. No way. I I think yeah. I hate to side with the cab company in this one, but I think I will. No way she can get a. I mean, nobody intends to puke in a cab, but they do. When you do it, you yeah. do it. I. I I want the cab. It's a little cheeky, though, isn't it? Don't you think it's a little cheeky? I mean, they could have had it. Well, but the driver's got to clean it. It's going to come out of his money, right? Yeah. Well, yes. Or but, her. Uh, I think the, the parent cab company could have done them a favor and say, hey, as a as a gift for your birth, we're going to we're we're gonna gonna eat wave it. Eat the, yeah, we're going to wave this it. This amazing thing happened in our cab. Mm-hmm. But I would bet instead that guy got back to the yard and they were like, oh, gross, dude. Hose it out. <laughs> yeah. You're out of ser- you're, He's out of service for a couple of hours. <laughs> That's right. It was about 125 American dollars is what it cost. To, Bad PR for the company, though. If they'd have, a little if they, bit. If they take it on the chin, it'd yeah. be a little better. They, they could actually promote that on their own social media. Come have your babies in our cabs. Yeah. We, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> so Plushest of back seats right. in town. Yeah. <laughs> our, our carbs are so comfortable, babies love Babies come we'll out. Get you to the new, we'll get you a newborn to the hospital. Now, what they could do yeah. is give the kid... Like a pass for life. Free cab cab drive. That's uh, cab rides for That's life. That's good. Anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any of those would be better PR than charging her. Just a bill, man. They did. They Come did on, charge man. her. But uh, legally, there's nothing no, she no. can do. Pay I, the money. I, I, there's there's no way. I don't think they have them anymore. Remember, London used to have those beautiful old black mm-hmm. classic cabs. They still have some of those around. Are they still around? Yeah. You, you've been in London recently. Yeah, they have. they still have a few of those around. Uh, most of our Ubers now. Mm. Or, or the whatever the comparison. Is when you it. said you have been in London recently, I thought you were talking to me, and I have. Twenty five years ago, I was in London, and they had those those black cabs. Now your name didn't come up in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was in London. No offense. I was in London for <laughs> what, the, what day was it? What two, three years three ago? Three years ago, I was in London for the Diana. It's, it's funeral. easier to be a a, a, a rideshare driver there because they have to go through those black um, cabs. The the drivers for those. They have to take tests, and they have to know every street. You can't use a. Uh, you're not supposed to use Google Maps. You're supposed to know every little in and really? out of. Yeah, in the London old days, are. I think they used to call it the knowledge. Cabbies used to have. Dave is right. Every mm-hmm. single street in the city memorized. My wow. understanding, it's still that way. Well, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. That really is. By the way, I wanted to update you. I've got several emails. Again, we brought up my PRI on uh, Friday. Well, you had a haircut and a physical. We've gone through the haircut. <laughs> A quickie. <laughs> yeah, you were late. No big deal. I was late. It's fine. The, the what, doctor. You smelled of baklava when okay, you showed right. up. <laughs> ah. What is that? Is that honey? <laughs> I did. I had a couple of slabs of baklava before I left. I got a text while I was eating it saying, where are you? I was late to my haircut appointment. A mm. deep in baklava, you? <laughs> I was. You don't like that when you're late. No, I know. And she had to do it very quickly. Then I went off to my physical And the doctor, I mean, he did all the checks and everything, said everything looked fine. And then I had to say to him, he said, anything bothering you in particular? And I said, let's let's just get (sighs) out of business. Look, and I you rehearsed this in the car on the way over. Yes. And I and and by the way, I told him last year about it and I've been to a dermatologist and I've, you know, I've been prescribed a few things. And I said, do you remember last year looking at my anus? And he said, oh, I I do. Let me pull that. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Is everything's on? Everything's on a laptop now. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Let's take a look at it. Let's let's do that." Mm. And uh, he did. Were you in the gown? No, I just was in just your skivvies, regular clothes. I was shirtless, and he said, "Just pull down your trousers I hope and let's you're fresh." Take a look. Yes, I I wanted to be fresh for him. You know, I just wanted to. I didn't want to be uh, have swamp unclean. I didn't want to do that. So he looked at, spread it really wide, and he's like, "Let me take a Did good." You get that light down there. Got the light. Put the light on his head. <laughs> okay. I got minor. He looked at it and he goes, "My God, this is inflamed." Oh, it, really? He did. He said, "This is really inflamed." He goes, "I'm retiring in 319 days." 
<laughs> he literally said, he's, I'm retiring in 319 days. Let me give you the name of the guy that's going to take this office over. He, well, he did that too, but he said, I'm going to make it my mission before I retire <laughs> to find out what's causing this and stop it for you because you've been dealing with it for too long. I said, You're right. And he said, and there was one area up top. He's like, man, that's really <laughs> There's more than one area? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all the way through, but there's one particular. What happens if I tap this with my ballpoint? <laughs> <laughs> and he could, he's like, I can't figure it out, but I'm going to for you. And then what's, he asked, step, what's the next step? He is considering, he's doing some research on his own. He sent me to a new dermatologist, but I can't get in for three months. That's how good they are. He said, these are specialists. They'll take a look. And then he's doing research. I saw him as I was leaving. He was like piling up. He was over like journal. North American buttholes. <laughs> he, had his, he had his tape recorder up to his mouth. You know, he's like, I've just seen a butthole I cannot describe. Was he packing up his desk faster? <laughs> did, did Get he, that out of here. Come on. Did he hit pause and put his head in his hand? Yeah. He didn't pull out his camera and take pictures of it while he was down there. No. I mean, so he can get it uh, to to his colleagues that might live in at the Mayo Clinic. Yeah, he should have. That's exa- and he did not that I know of. I mean, that's can you do that? Sure, take a picture of my butthole. Well, yeah, I mean, that's. But what uh, if it shows up online? What if it showed up? <laughs> trust me. You know, what if it showed up on well, some first web, you deny website? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I then you say you were hacked. I, I have to. <laughs> but he said uh, that he's going to make it his mission to figure it out, and he's considering prescribing an antidepressant. Because they have the side effect of stopping itch. And he couldn't figure out. He's like, I don't know why this itch is. Did that scare you? Here. A little. Somebody had told me that. You know, an emailer had said that it helped her. Yeah, you're right. And he said, I'm going to prescribe an antidepressant that will not affect your mood much. It won't alter it much. <sighs> Ooh, biggie. But it will make you, hopefully the itch will subside. But he's doing research on which one to prescribe. I don't know. I don't I, know I'm trying there. to make the correlation between that. That drug and that area. Yeah. It's a side just... effect only. All it is is a side effect that it stops itch. But I don't know. He said some. He said some of the old school uh, antidepressants would do that. Very strange, though. It is. I mean, that didn't make any sense to me either, but he's he's thinking. I got an email from a, a woman who says, uh, my boyfriend has chronic butthole itch. Mm. And when I say chronic, we've been together seven years, and he brought that itch into our relationship. <laughs> She said, I'm with you, man. I've, she goes, he's tried Vaseline, antifungal, desitin, everything else, jock itch stuff, antibiotics, everything under the sun. She says, I'm counting on you to tell me what you've tried so far. He is miserable, and I'm miserable trying to pull his arm out of his asshole every five seconds. Ugh. <laughs> Poor woman. She says, please, please, please keep me in the loop. I love him and his BH, but we cannot go through much more of this. I, and we don't have money for a doctor. She goes, I can't send him to the doctor. Oh, so, no. Yeah, that's, that's what she's saying. And, Were you going to slide him some meds on the side? He maybe, could. Maybe that's what she's asking. I don't know. She says, please, you are our only hope. Well, I... <laughs> You're Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, I am. I, and I can't, I can't figure it out either. I mean, Obi-Wan. we're in the same boat here. Uh, Aristotle, you're talking about this now. The doctor has said he's making it his mission. Go ahead. Uh, be careful with antidepressants because it will affect your sexual performance very heavily. Oh, God, I can't have that. I cannot have you. Have you been on antidepressants? Yeah, and it just you know, it affected it terribly. You couldn't get it up, and you'll last forever, but oh. not in a good way. Oh, no. Hmm. My gosh. I hadn't even thought about yeah, that. Yeah, those are powerful drugs. Yeah, they are. I know. But I'm living with this itch. Yeah. So what to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Did you ask him about your, your routine back there? I did. And? He said he didn't think that would cause it. He really? said he did not think that. He said, you know, try to go the other way, mm-hmm. and maybe it'll help. But he but he says it's like a some sort of rash, and he doesn't know it's what it's a it rash. Is. Yeah, I mean, it looks like one. He's like, and I don't understand, you know, why it wouldn't. It's like, why affecting only this area and not the. Is it an alien life form that's getting ready to pop out? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, you know, Biggie had gone through some of those movies. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my honey. Hollies. Hello, my darling. Hello, yeah. my right. I don't know. But he's, he said before he retires and moves to Colorado, <laughs> he's going to figure this out. He'll never out. retire. Yeah, uh, maybe. That unfortunately could be the case. <laughs> You're his white whale. Yeah. Uh, it might be. <laughs> Moby Dick. That's exactly right. Uh, there was this is a gentleman has a, a problem in his backside as well, but he deserves it because he tried to break into a home of a. A partially blind man 
The man was armed and shot him right in the buttocks. Mm. The story is in Ohio. The blind man shot an intruder in the butt. That's exactly what happened. Blind man got a gun. Blind man's got a gun. Blind man got a gun. <laughs> Legally blind. <laughs> Called 911. What, what state? This was in Ohio. This is Franklin, Ohio. Called 911. Somebody broke in my back door. I got a shot off because he was coming right towards me. Got fired a shot off. I don't know if it hit him or not. You don't know if it hit him. Why? He's legally blind. <laughs> legally. legally blind. Now, the gentleman, this is a great story, he ran out of the house and down the street and left a trail of blood going about six houses down where he hid in a shed of someone he knew. The shed is owned by a guy named Joe Lewis, who's a friend of both the blind man and the intruder. The intruder apparently knew his victim and was desperate for money. And the friend who lives down the street that where he hid in his shed says, this really, really surprises me. And what was his first reaction? I knew him for quite a while. My reaction was, damn, somebody shot that boy in the right. damn. Excuse me? Let me, try to pair, let me try to translate. He says, I've known him for quite a while. And my first reaction was, damn, somebody shot that boy in the ass. I knew him for quite a while. My reaction was, damn, somebody shot that boy in the All right. <laughs> And by do, the way, do we uh, at that point in the video, Kelly? Was there a cut to an awkward, embarrassed <laughs> reporter on the yes. on the street? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when your friend got shot in the bee hole? Damn. I was <laughs> damn. <bottom of> <laughs> mm-hmm. Now that same princess, you know, the, the intruder is not really dangerous. He ain't a dangerous person. He just got issues. Like all of us do. He has issues, issues. Like, all, issues. like all of us okay. do. He was lighting a cigarette at the time, so you can't <laughs> yeah. hear him very well. This is Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Were you surprised? I never expected that. Because he's never touched nothing here. Ever. We got thousand dollar sticks in there. Cubes. Thousand dollar sticks, I believe is what he said. He had, the guy was accused of stealing musical equipment, so sticks would be... Drumsticks? Drumsticks? But they wouldn't be thousands of dollars. Nah. I couldn't make that out. Is that a guitar? Sometimes you call it your stick? I Ma- don't know. I couldn't make it out. I right. never expected that. Because he's never touched nothing here. Ever. We got thousand dollar sticks in there. Cubes. Cubes? I couldn't make out what he was saying. I said huge, but I don't know. Huge. Anyway, he said, I, I have trusted him forever. And then... At the end, he said, look, we just got to all live our life, and I hope he gets his right. I'm hoping he get it right. Hoping he get his life right. He was already under, uh, he had mm-hmm. arrest warrants out warrants out for his arrest already, so now he's in trouble and served mm-hmm. a $50,000 bond in jail. Thought he him. could take advantage of a blind man. Yeah, I got shot right in the buttocks. Yeah. Now, n- not to get too inside this, and, I'm, and we're certainly not pro-crime on this program, but uh, if you shoot someone in the butt, mm-hmm. are they leaving? Yeah, that's the thing. But well, it? now, Lisa Lanier's you know going to join us next. Let me ask Lisa Lanier this next. I mean, in, in the, the code of the Old West is yeah. you never shoot someone in the back. It's but, a coward's way. But this person didn't know because he was legally blind. Couldn't he, tell which way he was facing. He just shot. He said that. He literally said that. He said, I couldn't. I, I don't know. Sometimes if, if you just sh- see shapes, mm-hmm. you, you, you shoot. Shoot, and shoot he, shape? Yeah, he you did. Shoot he shape. shot him in the butt. <laughs> see shape? Shoot shape. Shoot shape. So did, are you saying, did the victim do something wrong by shooting wildly because he's blind? Well, I mean, if this was leaving. Texas or, or was Florida, the, yeah, all right. I mean, the, 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 the law would be on the homeowner's side yeah. 100%. I just don't know if this guy was trying to exit the premises or if he just happened upon him. He was trying to exit the premises, it appears. He was turning around at the time. Uh, Lewis thinks he knows what the gentleman said. Ah. We could not understand what he was saying. I never expected that. Because he's never touched nothing here. Ever. We got thousand dollar sticks in there. Cubes. What what do you say, Lewis? What do you what do you think? I thought he said a thirty out six, which is a huge deer rifle. Oh, a deer rifle. Oh, thirty out six is what he says. That means oh. a, a deer rifle. Inter- oh, okay. All interesting. Right. Thanks, Lewis. I never even an, heard that. Good to have an interpreter. Chad, do you concur what he said when he was talking there? Yeah, no, no, no. He he said he's got thousand dollar sticks and Q pool sticks. Oh, 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 Q oh, sticks. Q sticks. sticks. Yes, All right, so. sticks and Qs. That not guns. That sounds right to me. <laughs> I've never expected that because he's never touched nothing here, ever. We got thousand dollar sticks in there, Qs. Q's. That makes sense. That to does me. make sense. Uh, okay. All right. Now I'm going to go with the pool sticks then. The uh, Q sticks.